Hello everybody, this is M0 Sugar Gold Sugar uh, in Pudsey, West Yorkshire. My name is Stuart. Uh, you may have heard me on the CQ UK room. Uh, I'm going to do a, a short video on Echo Link, uh, which is another way that you can uh, connect to the CQ UK room. If you go to the uh, CQ UK website, and click on links to CQ UK you'll find there a, a list of uh, of links uh, in which you can get into the uh, CQ UK room and uh, we're uh, going to look at this one today uh, which is Echolink Echolink's a pretty old program uh, and it's used for uh, uh, connecting to a repeater via the internet that you can't hit locally or uh, Indeed, if you can hit a repeater and it has Echo Link, you can then uh, uh, link it to another repeater who is also on the Echo Link network and uh, make your signal go a bit further. Uh, again, when this first came out, it was classed as not real radio. Uh, I'm not interested in not real radio, I'm interested in a real communication. So uh, I'm going to do this. Uh, uh, short video uh, about how to connect using uh, Echolink programming computer. Again, it's going to use the sound card and it's going to use the uh, uh, the headset that I've got on, um, which I'm using now to uh, record this video. So, uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, download the Echolink uh, program. Again, it's very small, 5.4 meg and install that on your computer but because uh, Echolink is a, a radio ham program uh, you're going to have to validate your license with Echolink if you haven't already done so click on the validation tab put in your call sign and click search or continue already validated uh, you see, I have uh, uh, done this on the in 2018, uh, but if yours says uh, not validated, uh, obviously you need to fill in your email address and request validation, and you've got to prove again that you're a radio ham. So uh, uh, once you've done all that, install Echo Link. Um, I'll download Echo Link, we'll do that now. I can download it again, that's not a problem. So download Echo Link again, it downloads onto your computer, show in folder, and uh, double click the setup. Click next set the agreement read it first a lot of people don't but uh, I always read uh, the end user agreement in case it's something that jumps out at me and says don't do it <laughs> and then uh, click on next 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 and install and it installed the echo link software Okay, once it's installed, launch Echo Link, and uh, that's what you should see on your screen. Uh, at this point, if it's the first time you've ever installed Echo Link, it might come up and it'll do a test, a port test, to see if there is access to uh, to the ports uh, that you have on your computer. Um, basically, if it's saying it's failed. Write down, it'll fail on two or four port numbers. Write down those port numbers. Uh, go into uh, your settings on your PC. Go into uh, security. Uh, go to uh, Windows security and open the Windows Security Center. In there you'll see a 
firewall or net pr work protection and uh, click on allow an app through the firewall and uh, he can add ports or change settings uh, look for echo link if it's there uh, if it is there uh, great make sure there's ticks in those boxes and uh, and then do the test again and it should work so just uh, pull this on the screen so we clicked on allow app through network uh, here you get to change the settings look down your list to see if echo link is in there if it's in there uh, make sure there's ticks in those boxes uh, click OK and then uh, run the test again and it should work so we'll get rid of all that rubbish off the screen so now we've got echo link installed and it's working uh, go to uh, tools and setup so put your station information if you've been validated once again you'll get uh, uh, an email uh, with uh, your validation key on there so click on single user put your call sign in put your password in store your password locally uh, your name your location and your email address uh, where it says servers you don't have to do anything where it says proxy direct connect you don't have to do anything timings you don't have to do anything audio this is where you have to do something so uh, the input device is the uh, uh, microphone and the headset that I'm using and the output device as I found yesterday set it to system default um, you can set it to uh, the output device uh, via there but I found that doesn't work but if you set it to system default, uh, default you'll hear it coming through uh, no other boxes need to be ticked and then click OK. So we've got all that set up. So how to find the CQ UK room on Echo Link? Go to locations, Europe. We're looking for uh, UK. That'll give you a list of all the UK connections. And we're looking for MB6ER-L. So uh, if you look down the list for MB6ER-L, uh, MB6ER-L, Aberdeen, that's the echo link node that uh, Ernie created that goes into the CQ UK room. So what I do is um, you can connect to that by double clicking on it or right clicking and click on connect and uh, there we are connected to uh, the CQ UK room <coughs> it's pretty early in the morning so uh, uh, it might not be uh, it might not be activated yet so to activate echo link there we go, somebody keyed up in the CQ UK room. Uh, you click on that button there, that's your PTT. Uh, so uh, I put out a quick call. This is M0 Sugar Golf Sugar, Mexico 0 Sierra Golf Sierra, making a YouTube video on Echo Link. Um, we're just wondering if we're connecting into the CQ UK room. M0 SGS. Yes, uh, good morning, Stuart. You are getting in, Stuart, but there's a lot of no Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I know why that is. I've got uh, I've got OBS. Uh, <laughs> I've got so many computers running and bits of uh, software to uh, record this video. It's uh, yeah, it's going to be a problem with a bit of noise. 
but uh, yeah i am coming in through echo link and i am coming in through analog so uh, uh, I, I presume there would be a lot of noise from m0 sugar gold sugar just a quick test It's okay, Steve. It's well, nice to hear you anyway, and hopefully, yeah, the video goes well for you. But, uh, but yeah, quite a, quite a bit of noise, more than I've heard in ages and ages and ages. So, everybody, you look after yourself, we'll catch you soon. G Zero D U G. Yeah, many thanks, M Zero Sugar Gold Sugar, back to standby CQ UK room. And there, uh, yeah, as you heard, um, I do have a lot of noise coming in with my signal. Uh, but yeah, going into a digital room in analog, and uh, digital users are used to uh, hearing no noise whatsoever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, just remember that. But uh, yeah, all good. Uh, that seems to work. So, uh, I'll end the video there. Uh, just another way to get into the CQ UK room. Uh, this afternoon, I'll do a video on... Uh, team speak uh, which will be uh, uh, very very interesting because I've not used team speak uh, but I had to set it up and uh, for me it was a bit of a nightmare so uh, for you it should be a lot easier following the video this has been M0 Sugar Gold Sugar Stuart in Pudsey West Yorkshire enjoy your radio and uh, enjoy the CQ UK room and don't forget to visit the website www.cq-uk.co.uk uh, All the links to uh, uh, the different myriad of ways of contacting us through CQ UK are on the website under uh, links to CQ UK. S73's M0 SDS is now clear.